Hello, everybody. It's Clocky, and welcome back to my podcast, Nobody Listens to Me Anyway, which is available here on Spotify, on Apple Music, Amazon, as well as my YouTube channel. So if you need a platform to listen to it on, you got four. So you better be listening to this, even though no one listens to me anyway, I guess. So I have a question. It's more like a, yeah, it's more like a question. The topic I want to go over is um, a lingerie. Now, you may be thinking, Clocky, how do you have questions about lingerie? Well, I mean, how don't you? Let's be honest. I personally love lingerie. And not just in the sense of wearing it. I personally just find the designs to be really aesthetic. I just like looking at it when it's in stores, the lace, the bodices. I think lingerie is super pretty and it's very aesthetic and can be beneficial to the wearer for, you know, many reasons, some including arousal, but others including comfort which is something you might not think about. I personally am not one who likes to be naked. I'm not very comfortable in the nude at all. Even around partners, and I do not like to be nude. So wearing lingerie makes me feel more comfortable in my body because I'm not completely nude. So it actually increases my comfort level an ability to present myself in certain sexual situations that may come from the lingerie usage, as it is a flattering piece of clothing to wear for your partner. However, wearing lingerie is such a complex thing in my brain. So I just, I have some thoughts about this. How do you, regard, regardless of all the difficult lingeries where there's so many straps and I can't even figure out how to get into it, that's not what I'm talking about. How do you wear lingerie? So like, sometimes when you go on a date or somebody goes out with their partner or on a first date, there's like the joke of like, the man thought he got lucky, but the girl was actually wearing matching bra and underwear. So you pre, sometimes you pre-plan wanting to arouse your partner or get laid on your first date or your date or whatever. So you wear something sexy underneath. How? Some lingerie I, I could, you know, imagine where it's like mostly a bra and just like sexy underwear. But like a lot of them have like tons of straps and buckles and then you've got like maybe a a garter belt is that what it's called the thing that goes around your waist maybe it's not a garter belt it's not the thing that's on your thigh garter belts are on your thigh whatever the one that goes around your waist that like snaps onto your tights and say it's like summer and you're wearing like a cute short dress how do you <laughs> or like winter how do you wear lingerie under your clothes i could never because like some of it's so hard to get in and out of and i pee a lot and also i personally wear tight fitting clothing so like you would see the outline of the lace and the straps and i want it to be like a surprise but it won't be. And I also, like, if you wear, like, a lower cut dress or shirt, then you'd see all the straps. And how do you do it? Is there, like, actually a tip for this? Am I just talking to the... Am I, am I overthinking this? This is quite possible that I'm completely and utterly overthinking this. But, like, how do you wear lingerie on a date? I've always wanted to. So, like, you come back from the date... It's all romantic and you're like, I planned something and you take it all off your dress and you've got this like sexy lingerie. But like, how did how did you not see it the whole time we were on the date? 
my clothes probably you saw the you saw what i was wearing through my because women's clothing is so thin they don't sell quality women's clothing so like there's no way that you're not there's no way you're not going to see some part of the lingerie whether it's like maybe your neckline is fine in the front but then the dress is low in the back and you're going to see all the straps and you're going to see the the waist i don't it's not a garter belt but it's like a I'll figure it out at some point. And then I like wearing like like thigh high tights, but if you have them like clipped, I mean, like I could I could understand just seeing like the little clippy things to like add under the dress. That could just be sexy on its own. That's fine. But how do you wear the full outfit? My thought is like you have to change. Also, okay, you have to change when you get home. Then it's less sexy because then you got out of your dress and back into your dress and. Also, for women who have bigger breasts, a lot of lingerie is like not supportive. So I like wearing regular bras because my boobs stay in place. If I'm wearing a lingerie top where the boobs aren't supportive, then you're gonna you're gonna know that I'm wearing something else because you're gonna see the droopage. It's not gonna be as perky. It's gonna be down. How do you do it? I just like the only way I can think of is like you're honestly, I don't know. I mean, if you're at home with your partner and you like change into it and you walk into the living room and you like, ooh, look at me, I'm sexy and like sedu seduce them. That's not a good term for it, but you know. I, I can't personally do that because I'm traumatized by that experience. I one time wore lingerie for an ex-boyfriend when we were out on a vacation. And I wore it for him and I came out to show him and he yelled at me and said, Why the fuck are you wearing that? You look stupid. I'm not in the mood. What are you doing? Take that off. You look ugly and stupid. I'm literally not in the mood. And then I never wanted to wear lingerie again. But I like wearing lingerie because it's pretty and I feel cute in it. But how do you do it? How do you like get it? Because, like, again, I'm not comfortable naked, so then, like, what if you and your partner start getting into it, and then you're like, oh, I feel, you know, dysmorphic today, and I would like to wear lingerie. Then you have to, like, stop in the middle of your makeout pre-session, be like, be right back, and then go change in the lingerie, which takes time because of all the straps and the, and the stuff. And then you come back and you're like, sorry, I killed the moment for the past 10 minutes, but like, I'm ready? Is that, is that how you do it? How, is anyone, <laughs> I can't be the only one that has these thoughts. Or maybe, again, I'm just overthinking this and I'm stupid. So, you know, I hope that's the case. I would love to hear you guys explain how to wear lingerie for me, because this is something that's been on my brain for so long because I think about wearing it because I think it's sexy and I want to wear it but I don't know how to wear it because I don't know how what do you do with the boobs and and, and the straps and your nipple and like yeah I don't know man I don't know I got out of hand fast anyway thank you so much for listening or not listening to my podcast which is available on Apple Music, Amazon, Spotify, and YouTube. I have a merch store if you haven't checked that out yet. If you're listening to this in the month of December of 2022, there is a 50% off code to get merch right now. I'll link it in the description below. Again, it'll only be valid for the month of December 2022. But check out my merch and I will see you. Well, I'll think of you in the next episode. But for now, I'm clocking out. Bye!